I don't know what to call it. Whatever it is, it's not a straight line. I thought I was a phoenix. That if I had to burn, at least I would rise. But I keep falling. I keep failing. I keep wondering. One. Before, I used to try on a bra that dug into my flesh and decide that my body was wrong and the clothing was right. Struggling to breathe through the underwire, but sighing in relief at the size printed in tiny letters, better to resist adjustment in an already unsteady world. Today, I threw away everything tight in order to fit comfortably inside my own life. I replaced it with a license to take up space and some sweaters, but I can't stop thinking about what this really means. Am I accepting the size of my body as it is? Or am I hiding this new body in shame, using excess fabric, trying to give comfort to the parts of me that insist on this body's failure? And how can I know when I can't see what I really look like? Two. I'm so ready to love myself. If I could just meet her. I look in the mirror and I don't know how to position myself in the world. I try to reclaim, to think, hashtag big girl, hashtag body positive. But yesterday someone told me I'm tiny and now I feel like I'm intruding in a community that doesn't belong to me. I can't decide if I'm small or big, disgusting or beautiful. Like the men who yell at me on the street, the decision rests on how that woman in the mirror makes me feel today. Trying to appreciate this body means owning its sudden increase in flesh and everything that I feared. When I call myself a big girl, am I suggesting that anything above an extremely narrow range of sizes is considered exceptional? I see a big girl in the mirror, so what if I can't feel like I'm someone with a small body, even if that's what I have? How do I respect someone else's journey while respecting my own? Three. If I avoid calorie information instead of trying to be okay with it, did I really recover? If I throw out my scales and mirrors instead of confronting the fear of my changing body, did I really recover? If I only did it so my girlfriend would stay with me? If I have a limit on how much freedom I'm comfortable with? If the thing I fixated on resolved for unrelated reasons, did I really recover? 